Okay, so I know there's not a lot of videos on the internet on these John Deere 317G cylinders with the gland that's got the snap ring around it and the fact that you have to have the special tool in order to get it out. This is this is a part of it here. It's a uh, it's a thin little tool, fit with focus, and it's got it's wide on one edge and flat on the other, and it's meant to sit in this groove. It comes as part of the seal kit. So as you can see, I broke my last one, uh, and to get another one of these, you either have to buy another seal kit or go on the Amazon and spend twenty dollars and get another one. Um, so. Did a little bit digging online, found a forum post of a guy who says just to use Bondo. It's your regular body filler Bondo. You mix some of that up and you put it inside the cylinder. So you're gonna take the gland that's here. Once you get the snap ring off the front, you take the gland, you push it all the way back. Make sure you have some squeegees as well, but mix, your, mix yourself up some Bondo and put a bunch of it on the inside of that groove and fill that groove and after filling that groove go back through with the the sharp side of your bondo spreader and scrape out the inside of it and scrape off all the excess so you just fill that, that little groove so if you break your ring your installation ring wherever i put that at if you break your installation ring make yourself up some bondo fill that groove and I'm surprised by how easy it comes out because what you're going to be fighting is this snap ring that sits right there. You got to get it out. You got to get it past that and that compresses in there real tight. So now that this is out, I can go through. I can reseal the rest of the cylinder. Make sure you leave it in there because uh, you're going to have to, you're going to have to, you're going to need that to put everything back in. And I did a little test piece on this old hydraulic rod that I had sitting here and uh, I didn't mix it up as correctly as a, a body guy that's my buddy. Uh, he mixed up that uh, the stuff that's sitting in the cylinder. But this stuff, if you, if you can get get up underneath it, it kind of just chips off like it does there. So after testing that and seeing how well this stuff came off, see, it comes off just like that. You get little chips and stuff. So after finding that out. It was a little bit more comfortable trying out this method. So, but uh, before you reseal everything, go through, make sure you take a picture of all your seals and everything. Make sure you have everything organized correctly and the, and the seals are facing the right direction. You have the correct O-rings, correct orientation for everything. And uh, check for scratches and, and, uh, and uh, divots and stuff that could tear up your new seals before this goes back in.